have a budding Picasso at home, need a little help curating that collection? Home organization expert Christina Campbell shows us how she keeps her at-home gallery in check. Good morning. Good morning, Annette. Yes, there is a, you know, one thing I'm always saying to moms is that there is absolutely no law written down that says you need to keep every single piece of artwork that your child creates, especially if it has glitter on it. So uh, really our goal with organizing and storing our kids' artwork is to be able to like honor their creativity and their efforts without having overwhelm our homes. So I right. always recommend start, yes, and we wanna start by collecting all of this stuff. Um, oftentimes we get so overwhelmed with all of the artwork because there's no clear system in place about you know where to put it and how long to hang on to it. So I like to recommend a little basket like this one, set it up on the on the dining room table throughout the day. The artwork comes in, you know, where the bigger kids can empty their backpacks of art at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, then after dinner, you take the time to really go through it, let each artist talk about what they love and what they're so proud of. So when we take the time to celebrate it, as opposed to, you know, having to make it a chore when it all piles up, you know, they're going to develop their objectivity about what makes it so great. And, uh, you know, I, I, I like to that say idea that at the dinner table, too. Too, right it's something for them to talk about their art I love that absolutely idea. because if everything is precious then nothing is precious so this helps them sort of decide with objectivity what's worth you know displaying on the wall or hanging on to as opposed to you know moving on okay let's so get to the display right now Absolutely. And so that's, you know, once you've landed on those masterpieces, it's time to put them up. And for a lot of families, you know, the default is the refrigerator with uh, a few magnets. And if that's working for you, great. But if you're looking for something a little bit less visually cluttered or a little bit, um, you know, more polished, uh, there are a lot of ways. My absolute favorite is to do a DIY gallery wall like this one using thrift store frames. This is so inexpensive. You're going to just start by taking out the glass and the artwork that was there. Give it a fresh, fun coat of paint. That's something that the kids can absolutely help with. And then add some cork to the backing. And that's something you can find at a dollar store or a, a craft store. Some other things I love, if you have a very prolific artist, take a photo of everything that they make. And then afterwards, you can upload those and make a photo book or a big poster collage. One thing I found recently that I love is that you can upload them to the Canada Post website and you can turn them into your own postage stamps or postcards that can be sent directly to the recipient, which is such a fun way Very to keep cool. in touch with. Yeah. And how, how much would grandparents love to get a stamp like that too, right? And absolutely. And it's very inexpensive. It's about the same cost as a greeting card. Um, and, and another way, a great way, digital photo frames. We kind of forget about those, but that is a perfect way to display your kids' art. And, and then the final step is to save them. Like, how do you decide what to save? Do you ask the artist? Well, we asked the artists, and like I said before, we sort of honed their skills a little bit, make them objective about what's great. So then what we do is, um, you know, I love to recommend a, a plastic a file box like this one, and then each hanging file folder is labeled with the age or the, with the grade that they're in. And that's where your absolute favorite pieces can go, along with any report cards and certificates. Um, some sort of an artist portfolio is another great one, a giant Ziploc bag. And then, you know, obviously when you have special large projects like this one, that's not going to fit in your box. So I recommend take a photo of your child with that project that they were so proud of, and then you can file that accordingly so you always have a keepsake. Or, you know, what's even better is to take a video of them presenting their, their display or their project and talking about what makes it so great. And that's something you'll always have. Oh, Christina, some great tips because I'm sure so many families right now have so much learning at home art to deal with, right? So some great tips there. And uh, we'll put the information for your contacts on our website at chch.com. Thanks for cleaning things up for us. Thanks so much. Have a great day.